Here's how natural makeup can actually protect you against facial recognition privacy attacks. Basically, researchers found out that using software-generated makeup patterns, they could actually bypass facial recognition technology. Here's the tricky part, though. Although you could just lather somebody's face with makeup and fool any facial recognition technology, because that person will not be recognizable, that person is going to stand out when they walk in public, right? In the physical space to other people, they're going to stand out. And that's problematic too. So the goal of this study was actually to figure out the minimum amount of makeup that someone had to apply in order to fool the facial recognition. So what the researchers did to circumnavigate that issue is they decided to only use conventional makeup techniques and neutral color palettes, right? To achieve as natural of a look as possible. So here's the actual study that the article links to. And as you can see, they actually used a heat map to determine the most important parts when it comes to facial recognition, right? And as you can see from here, it looks like the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, right? And even the forehead tend to be the most impactful when it comes to whether facial recognition can or cannot detect you. And as you can see from the images on the study, the top photo is actually the participant without makeup. And with the minimal amount of makeup, as you can see in the bottom photo, she was actually able to fool the facial recognition camera. The other cool things the study focused on was how they're looking for methods that are actually accessible to people, right? Methods that can be used for people that don't have the means to buy super expensive makeup or have a super expensive makeup artist. Now, this doesn't come without its unfortunate cons. One con is that using the makeup intelligently, you could actually impersonate other people's faces, right? And obviously there's an extent to which that can go, but it is a possibility that researchers are worried about. If you want to learn more about this, the article I'm referencing is actually from Vice Motherboard, and the study itself is linked in that article showing all the images, the abstract, and it's an awesome read. I also had the pleasure of seeing Yuval Elovici speak about this live, which was awesome, and there's a TED Talk that they do as well, in case you are interested.